For those who don't know, I've done quite a few Pokemon Nuzlocks in my day. And we've got a brand new Jaden Animations Nuzlocke to take a look at. This one, however, is a two-player Nuzlocke. And you guys already know, I've got this whole thing going on called the Cage Lock, which I created seven years ago. But I have a feeling this one is a Soul Link. So let's take a look at the newest Jaden Animations animation. All right, so as soon as this gets posted, I get tagged and bombarded with comments on YouTube videos, tweets, and much, much more to take a look at this. If you guys don't know who Jaden Animation is, you're sleeping under a crustal, but check the link in the description for the original video. Show some love to Jaden. Incredibly talented, great storyteller. I love watching these with you guys. They are such a blast. Be sure to like the video if you guys enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I personally post Pokemon videos every single day. This is what I do. I'm a Pokemon guy. I do Nuzlocke. I do challenge videos. I do shiny hunting. I do everything. So if you're excited for Pokemon Legends Arceus and beyond, be sure to drop a subscription to our channel here so you don't miss out. Otherwise, let's sit back and enjoy. Very excited for this one. And I'm very excited that it's a two-player Nuzlocke because those are super cool. I'm actually doing a series right now with Shady Penguin doing the cage lock. So let's take a look what Jaden has in store for us. You know the drill at this point. Pokemon faints, it dies. Catch one Pokemon per route and nickname it to set up for emotional trauma. But That's this it. time we're doing something a bit different. Ooh. A two-person Nuzlocke. It's technically called a soul link. A soul but no link. Knows what that means. So fit. So, Soul Link, basically two people play, but the two Pokemon are bonded in their party. I do the Cage Lock, which is two people are playing, but they actually face off in cage matches every gym. So a little bit different. Uh, this one relies on your opponent or your partner helping you and like not sacking off their Mons, whereas the other variant is more competitive kind of every single gym. Basically, you and person two play the same Pokemon game at the same time, following the same Nuzlocke Just roles. said that. However, no, your just Pokemon kidding. are linked, which means if my starter dies, player two's starter also Womp. dies. See you later. And they can't do anything about it. Plus, we can only have one primary typing for both of our teams combined. That's so crazy. If I catch a water type and add it to my team, person two can't have a water type at all on theirs. And cherry on top, all Pokemon are randomized. I Woo! can walk into the grass at any point and accidentally find God. And maybe he'll just kill all my animals, right? The randomizer aspect is really nice. I think they're doing Heart Cold Soul Silver as well. Then and there. So with all these new rules in place, I needed to find a player too. One who's a real Pokemon who is master, it? able to adapt, improvise. I actually don't know who it is. Guys, all at the drop of a hat. And who else other than Pokemon Master himself? Jacob Alpharad. Oh, Alpharad! At this point in time, has a 50-50 Nuzlocke win ratio. Here's our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver Soul Link Nuzlocke. We both go downstairs, barely That's a great mind, partner. and immediately beeline it to Professor Elm's lab to see what Pokemon he's got for us, because we don't know. They're random. Ooh. In case you forgot what I just said. We stroll up to him, and he pats Jacob on the head and goes, here, choose from these three. Oh, I'm excited. Randomizers are great. You. Torterra, Tentacruel, or Ludicolo? Torterra? Right, what Torterra? Why not make Ariados? Awesome. Jacob takes Torterra and I take Mankey and we named them Franklin. On our way to talk to <laughs> They're both Franklin, named Franklin. Runs into a Reggie Rock in a random patch of grass, which just flat out explodes on him. No one died, luckily, but also, oh my god. We get an egg and immediately Professor Elm calls and tells us he's been robbed and bullied. You really couldn't handle being alone for 10 minutes, could you? On our way back <laughs> to help a grown adult, we stumble onto a shady figure who scoffs, challenge- Okay, so has anyone ever played through gold and silver and nicknamed this guy question marks, I think it is? And just us to a battle with Pokemon he stole from Elm, which we immediately win. Scoffs again, then drops his wallet, passport, credit card, driver's license, social security, target gift card on the ground in front the of The target us. gift card though. The world to see. Dude, get your crap together. You can't be doing that when you're a wanted fugitive. Back in the lab, Elm is crying on the floor as the police and our neighbor are trying to comfort him. And the police asks us if we saw anyone suspicious. Yes, we saw his info. Now here we get to name our rival. Jacob and I try to think of someone that we both shared some sort of rivalry with. When we remembered a certain professional Pokemon Nuzlocker has been consistently reacting and critiquing our Nuzlocke so far, some of his comments were more critical than others and directed at one of us more than the other mr policeman his name is jan hi jan <laughs> let's see if you can destroy us from the inside out anyway <laughs> our neighbor takes us out to some grass to show us how to catch a pokemon runs into articuno, articuno nice in a pokeball in the green and turns to us and goes see just like that <laughs> they give us some pokeballs and we can finally start our journey we both run around in the grass and our first encounters are barboach 
and Houndoom. Okay. It would have been awesome for Jacob. Link together. If he could catch the dang thing. Uh. Since we only had Pokeballs, Houndoom was not getting in the ball no matter what. And we ended up not getting that pair. But I'll say that's like one of the biggest struggles of a randomizer is the, the catch rates for Pokemon. Because you can run into a legendary on the first round and you only have Pokeballs, things can get really tricky and you can basically lose encounters super fast. And obviously they can have crazy moves because a lot of legendaries have like level one moves or level zero moves essentially where they learn like Reggie Rock learns explosion. So that's kind of funny to it's see. All right. There's plenty more encounters like Hop It Farfetch that Jacob accidentally kills or Geodude Gyarados that Jacob accidentally kills or oh. Pyro Charizard that Jacob accidentally kills. Hey, why do I get this? What is and Jacob Jacob's doing? All this. And why do you keep killing him, Jacob? But finally, in the ruins of Alf, we managed to catch a new pair. Sand slash camera up. Not okay. at all. We tried to name them Michael, but both misspell it. So welcome to the team, Michels. Then on Michaels. Ride 32, we catch Totodile Beedrill, which is also pretty good, mainly for just me. We started combining the two Pokemon to create their names. So we ended up somehow with Bedrodo. We ran into a trainer who had a freaking Palkia on his team. Fun fact, did you know if you Google Palkia type weakness, Google will tell you that he's weak to fairy and Salamence. No other dragons, just Salamence. So Jacob and I started joking around every time we saw a Palkia. Oh no, if only I had a Salamence. Uh-oh, don't have a Salamence over here. It was kind of strange how many Palkias we ran into, but that didn't stop us from bullying every single one. So we take on <laughs> Faulkner, the first gym leader, who has Kyogre Bronzar and Metagross Dragonair. Ooh, that's oh kind of tough. After a lot of difficulty, we both managed to beat him with no casualties. I don't know how that happened, but hey, everyone's all right. Oh, he's going to take himself out. Oh, oh my God. Wow. How about some encounters to like? Metagross is pretty serious. Oh, Kyogre, obviously oh. very serious. Shuckle Suicune. That Jacob accidentally kills. Oh he's my god! <laughs> he's throwing he so hard! Stacked as Faulkner. And as we step outside, Jan, who is surprised we haven't been demolished yet, yeah, I'm surprised too, challenges us to a battle, which we also win. <laughs> we run into Ma Wild Deoxys in the forest, who so okay. accidentally kills, and make our way oh. to Goldenrod, where there's a security guard that'll give us both a Pokemon. He hands me a Porygon too, which I'm ecstatic about, turns to Jacob, and gives him Reggie Gigas, Ooh. which we can't use because they're both normal types. Of all the legends you had to get, of course you get the only oh. normal type besides actual god. We beat Whitney and in the national park find Piplup Flaffy, which we named Plap. I pitched to Jacob that I'm willing to trade the Bedrodos to make room for this new pair, so he essentially switches Beedrill with Flaffy, which we shake on. Welcome to the team, Plaps. And then my plan. Wait, what was? Oh, there's a Jirachi. I was like, what's that Jirachi doing back there? Immediately almost gets killed. Ooh. Jaden. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My bad. We find Dragonair Shuppet, which is an actually insane pair we could use right away. But yeah, I ended up killing that one. Ah, oh, Jaden gets her revenge on all the ones that Alpharad killed. Look. I'm sorry, Jacob. It is harder than it looks to catch these things. We pour water on the strange trees on Route 36 that actually turn out to be Cradily Silcoon. We kind of named them Dilly Do and could have added Dilly them Do. to the team as death <laughs> fodder, but we ended up forgetting to, which is, yeah, a pretty silly mistake, but what's the worst that could happen? Who needs death fodder in a Nuzlocke? Jacob and I make it to Ekritik and walk into the burnt tower. As we are about to go down there, Jan runs up and is like, you're only trying to catch Suicune to make yourselves look stronger than you actually are. And we're like, no, we killed him a while ago. But he still wanted to battle, probably to show off the Mew he somehow found. Okay. Again, go downstairs. Scare Gets off wrecked, but he found a Mew, so. Morgan. Jacob didn't have any trouble for the team. Watch out for Lediba. But for me, I was having a bit of a harder time because he had a Lugia. <laughs> which neither me nor my team could even handle. All I could do was bubble beam it with Plap and pray I don't get crit one shot as Jacob just sits there watching. But Oof. it ended up working out. We arrive in Olivine. And oh, wow. They the got through that. Okay. Was almost falling to our literal death along the way. Reach Jasmine at the top who's like, climb back down and go get medicine for Amphi and Seanwood. And we were like, we almost died getting here. Surfing to Seanwood, we encountered Obama Snow Pupitar. And That's a good combo. Yeah, we did catch them. Abomatar joined the team immediately. Abomatar! So we've got a pretty powerful line. Wait, how is that Maggie not evolved yet? A random guy in town gifted us a Mewtwo and Weeping Bell. Finally, I'm the one with the legend. Here we go. 
but we had to box him because we couldn't have two grass types. <clears throat> All of this sudden shared luck combined with our zero death win streak got us feeling pretty confident. Zero deaths minus all the encounters, it's time but to get kicked in the throat, specifically by a black belt martial artist. Gym leader Chuck was indescribably tough in the most bullcrap way possible. So I gotta say, in Heart Gold Soul Silver, a lot of people hate on the XP share that just came out in BDSP and some of the newer games. In Heart Gold Soul Silver, there's like some very weird leveling going on there. It's so hard to level up your team, especially if they're behind at any point. It just takes a tremendous amount of time. So I can see falling behind at this point, especially to Nuzlocke. For me, Jacob had no trouble at all because he's Jacob. He had a Kingdra, which I brought Obamatar out for. Nothing else on my team could really do anything against it. The main drawback of this is Obamatar's snow warning ability, which creates hail damaging every Pokemon, including my own. That's not an ice type, which is pretty inconvenient in a Nuzlocke. I even made a, a teeny tiny comment about it when I first got him. I can, I can, I'm gonna call it. Snow's gonna kill one of my Pokemon. King ah. goes down and Chuck's only other Pokemon, he's only got two, is Frostlast, oh. who if you don't know, has Snow Cloak. Snow, snow Cloak, Cloak makes the Pokemon he's gonna 20% dodge. harder to hit if there's hail. You wanna know how many Pokemon in Gen 4 have this ability? Five. Three of which being Mamoswine. You wanna know how many Pokemon there are in Heart Gold Soul Silver? 493. Now, <laughs> I know these odds sound pretty awful already, but you know what this Frostlass does? She uses ominous, ominous wind. wind. Ominous wind has a 10% yep. chance to every single <laughs> Oh man. Oh no. no. Oh win. no. After a lot of strategizing, we both decided the best option for us would be to send in Michael as death fodder to heal up Plap because he's the only one that can really do anything at this point. And what happens? Please don't get another. Start. Oh, it's gonna get another boost. You're, he's good. He's so good. He's no, good. no. Oh my! Crossless crit oh. one shots Michael as soon as he comes out. Our first deaths. Poor camera up. He was so proud for making it out of Jack's gym and then just falls over dead for no reason. I got Plap healed up and basically started heal stalling, which sure isn't a noble strategy, but. T t t I Come on. After literally struggling against my own bad luck for what felt like hours, finally, Frostlass goes down. Through the confuse ray, with the peck! With the peck at level 31! He drags me out of the gym and we head to the BC. We decided to add a pair we caught back on Route 35. I like that missing no middle finger. Fan named Darfell, a fantastic I like that one. Role. I was admittedly, and I think justifiably still really salty about what we just went through, but Jacob convinced me that we should just move on. We got our Darfells leveled up and returned to all There we go. That's a good pair. The medicine that we picked up so Jasmine would finally do her But job. now you got to deal with and Jasmine. Check this out. Oh. Another Lugia. <laughs> oh my god. Look at our two screens real quick. <laughs> nah, it's all right. She also had a Geoxys. We headed to Mahogany Town, catching and adding Nidoran and Beryl, named Beryl to the team. And in the Lake of Rage, Jacob caught a Kyogre paired with my Swalot. We never used this pair, but I just wanted to mention it for reasons. We approached the glistening shadow of the Lake Beast, activate the encounter. Does it always shiny? Shiny Baneerian Dawn fan. Oh. Not, you know, the best, but hey, free shiny Pokemon. Doesn't hurt to cat. Oop, I killed it. <laughs> <That's again. My laughs> <bad. Sorry. laughs> uh, doesn't hurt the oh I killed it. Sorry, Lance walks up to the us struggle. and goes, Hi, I'm Lance. Grabs us by the wrist, kicks down the door to the Mahogany Town 7 Eleven, kills one of the guys in there, and oh my goes to the rocket hideout where he continues to wipe out any living organism he finds down there. Classic Lance. We decided to copy So his Dragonite wasn't randomized or and their power it might have been. Right before we fly to Golden Rod, we pick up the seventh badge and then continue curb stomping Team Rocket. We there were you getting go. a bit too comfy though, and as Jacob wasn't paying attention, mainly because he just got a chicken sandwich, Obamatar was killed by a golem's earthquake. There goes Obamatar. Oh no. That was a really bad <laughs> He one. just covers it in sand. More because we weren't paying attention. But we did have to move on. Those chicken sandies. since we were literally in the middle of a gang fight. We shoved our way to Rocket Executive and Big Boss Archer and give him a bit of a throat chop so he would calm down and stop doing whatever it is he was doing. And everyone is saved. On our way to Blackthorn, we catch Frostlass Corfish, which put me into a vengeful trauma spiral. Oh, that's unfortunate because Obamatar went down too. No. 
<laughs> Could have had the combo. And then Jacob caught himself both a Suicune and an Azelf. We arrived and took on Claire, who led with a Mewtwo against me, which at this point I shouldn't even be surprised. But all the rest of our team was pretty much a pushover for both of us. Claire's a bad sport and refused to think we were good trainers, so we talked to the old man behind the gym and he's like, so do you beat your Pokemon? And we we're like, no. And he's like, awesome. <laughs> do you beat Claire, your Pokemon? Give him the stupid badge. What? So now we can head to the Elite Four. Uh oh. Hey guys, I think you should go fight a horde of Asian women in Ecrotique. Uh, so we enter the Ecrotique Theater and start fighting the women. And the second girl for me said, They normally have the evolutions. As I switched oh, to Franklin, it screeched, which I uh -oh. <clears throat> didn't pay attention to. And Ambipom double hit killed Franklin. That's the starter. Our starters died. Mm. Dude, that was really sad. We were about to make it to the Elite Four with them, and bam. That is Not sad. Alive anymore. Oh, they were the with leaf. Us through everything. Pretty much the backbone to our teams. Man. Jan's gonna make so much fun of us when he finds out. As we're still mourning, the last kimono girl rest spams with Waylord. Do you have any dignity, woman? We're lamenting over here. Ouch. We try to leave, and the girls are all, no, no, go catch the legendary Pokemon. Oh, I can't we wait to see what this is going to be randomized to. I head to Whirl Islands and Jacob scales the bell tower. And what legends do we find? The legendary Zangoose and Loudred. Okay. Finally, we have some freedom again. And as soon as we touch the water in Newbark to head to Victory Road, what pops up from the bottom of the lake but Entei himself? And Doduo. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I feel like that is really funny, the contrast. Hello, Dode. That's going in the box because fire types. We catch Cascoon Regirock in Victory Road and heading towards the exit, Jan sprints up from behind us and I iconically say, this is your last chance to kill one of our Pokemon, Jan. And what happens? Oh boy, he's gonna kill something. Oh my God. Counter <laughs> on the Hitmo, no! Oh. Wow. Oh, he killed one of our Pokemon. Yeah, Counter. that sucks. That really sucks. Darfell was an incredible pair we've had since the fifth gym, and we really grew to lean on. We lost quite literally Oof. half our team right before the Elite Four. Mm. We beat Jan for the last time, enter the Indigo Plateau, and immediately bolt to the PC to see what kind of damage control we can do. After a very long time of trying to stitch together the best teams possible, we ended up with this. Ampharos and Polion, Bibaril Nidoqueen, Beautifly Cradley, Dodrio Ente, and Victory Bell Mewtwo. Okay. I know, I know. Wow, Jaden, super balanced. You've got Mewtwo and Entei, and Jacob has a Beautifly. Look, I, this is the best we can do, <laughs> I promise. Tell him, Jaden, tell him. Oh, anyway, man. big deep breath. Here we go into the unknown depths. Of Does Jacob Jaden get through this? Will, Coda, and Bruno were all no problem at all. We breezed right past them. Everything was going great. This is fine. Yeah, done. Hmm? yeah he's. Oh, 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 oh my god. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> I win these. On the other hand, Karen was not as nice. Oh, no, that's he, bad. He any charge move. Oh. Cross chop oh, crit. Cross -chop. He's dead. It's fine. Cross I'm chop crit. I'm just paranoid. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> And in Gen 4, critical hits do double damage oh, instead no. of 50% increase. Guys, we're so sorry. We got so they, they're just going to do like so much. 15 minutes of having you. We Yikes. ended up getting out of the battle with no more casualties, but facing Lance with a team of four each is really not ideal. Yeah, Lance least, is kind of tough. But, oh, it's randomized, though. So Whether we win or lose here, this is our last battle. He leads with Fionn and Ledian, which we were both like, ha, 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 Lance, is this all you've got? And then he hits us with the no. Jacob was up against his Porygon Z, Rampardos, the oh, Amiki, yeah, that's Zapdos, tough. and Plessel. And even though okay. it's a pretty stacked team, he was holding his own. And Rampardos is tough. Really well. On my end, I was dealing with a giga impacting Snorlax, which I really had nothing for. I just had to pray for no crits and as many misses as possible. It goes down eventually. And what does he send out next? Palkia. Palkia. Where's the oh. Salamence? I could really use a Salamence yep. right about now. This is what we get. We bullied Palkia so much during our journey here. Looking at my team, I don't have anything that can handle Palkia either, except for Mewtwo. And what happens? 
he gets spatial around crit one shot turn one. Oh. I am in a lot of trouble. I took so much time getting past Snorlax that Jacob was already done with his battle. So wow. all I could do was watch this massacre from the sidelines. I sent out Deli Dew to confuse Stalem and just try to chip away at him with basically nothing. And my God, was I lucky because if Palkia hit one more crit at any point, Deli Dew and the run was over. And I was forced to dance on that line for a long time. But eventually, Dilly Doo lands the finishing blow. I was so proud. Until? The that we caught so early on. Oh, are we good? Death fodder was the one saving us. We're so sorry for doubting you, Dilly Doo. Thank you for sticking by us and not dying. But that was only half of Lance's team. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, what's you. left? Plap took out his sand slash, which stunk. But Bastiodon came out, tanked Plap's surf, and killed metal him burst? with Metal Burst. I was in shock with that one. That was our second oldest pair. Ever since our Franklins died, Jacob and I both started seeing the Plaps as our star members. Beryl came out and revenge finished the Bastiodon, and Lance's last Pokemon was big ol' hard hitting tanky freaking Azumarill. Ooh. I sent Dilly Doo back out because Beryl would die immediately and started the chipping game again. If that wasn't bad enough, Azumarill set up the rain and an aqua ring for itself which turned this fight from uh to ah uh, this awful one-on-one -on -one lasted 10 whole minutes i slap him he slaps back much harder and then heals and then i heal but eventually dilly do wins the stalling battle and azumarill goes down nice an unpredictable turn of events cray dilly cray dilly does get the ability storm drain which what would make it immune to water moves but i guess it didn't insane have it encounters insane bull crap friends, death, bullying, and the dilly doos. Thanks for going on this journey with me, Jacob. I quite literally couldn't have done it without you. And a salute to the buddies we made along the way. Aw, that's cool. Except you. <laughs> very nice, very nice. So yet another epic Jaden Animations Nuzlocke video. Big shouts to Jaden and Alpha Rad for throwing down in this incredible soul link. You guys can find the original video in the description below. Show some love to their channels, of course. And if you enjoyed my reaction, be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new as I do post Pokemon videos every single day. That's gonna be it for me, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by A Drive, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.